Hey everybody, it's Matt here. And today I've got the Victron Energy Smart Shunt 500 amp Bluetooth battery monitor here. And I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up with my battery and my inverter and show you how to get it hooked up uh, so that you can then later on connect it to Bluetooth and start monitoring your battery levels. I'm just doing this with a simple, single battery setup. Now obviously you're gonna need your Smart Shunt. You're also going to need one of the positive cables that comes with it. It does come with two, depending on your setup. I'm only gonna use one for this. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure you've got the appropriate tools. For the smart shunt, you're gonna need a spanner or a shifter or, or something appropriate to get those bolts off. And I also find a Phillips head a good tool to have. My battery does have Phillips head bolts on it, so it's a bit easier than the shifter. The thing to be aware of and prepared for with setting this up is that the bolts on the smart shunt are a 1610 size, so that's a, 10 millimeter diameter that you need. It's kind of important because a lot of batteries are, are a eight millimeter or 16 eight uh, screw. That's what mine are. That's what my inverter is as well. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have negative cables that have that 1610. Now I've got one hooked up to my inverter already, ready to go. So I've got 1610 there. And then this one is where I'm gonna hook up to the battery. So it's an eight millimeter on this end for the battery and then a 10 millimeter on this end for the smart shunt. You can see there that the hole is indeed a different diameter between those two. So where do we start? So you'll see on the top of the smart shunt, you've got two labels here. One is to system minus and one is to battery minus. So with that, it's fairly self-explanatory. In this case, I spin it around. This end's gonna to go to my battery and then this end over here is gonna to go to my inverter. So I'm gonna put the inverter up first. That's going to my system. Now, we can just remove those bolts. So I've got my 1610 cable here that's coming from my inverter. And this is also where you wanna connect any power sources up. So whether you're using a battery charger or solar panels or that sort of thing, you'll want your charger to come in on this side as well, the system side. I'm just gonna go with the inverter for now just to keep it simple. So we'll run that into there and I'll screw that in, just finger tight for the moment. And then get the shifter and tighten that up. Then we've got our battery side. If you're not 100% sure, just refer back to the top there. It's always gonna tell you to battery minus. So I've got my cable here, which is both a 1610 at one end and a 168 at the other. So if you do try and do that, it's just not gonna fit. It's just too big, that bolt. You need to go up to the 10 mil. So I'll put that one in and then we can go ahead and screw that in. Nice and tight, so that's good. Now we wanna connect that negative up to our battery. So I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew that one. And we're just gonna hook that up and screw it into there. Now we've got these bolt holes so that you can mount it somewhere, which is probably a good idea. Before we connect our positive up to our battery from our system, we've got that positive cable to remember. This one needs to sit on that positive connection to the system, but this cable also needs to connect here into the smart shunt, into this V battery socket. To connect this little cable up, do we wanna put this little pin from our positive cable that comes with the smart shunt into this and the bat socket here. So that's just gonna slide straight into that hole like so, and it should just clip in. So I've just heard it and felt it clip in and it's nice and firm, I can't pull it out again now. So that's exactly how we want that. And then we should have our other end here with our ring terminal on it. Now that one is also a 10 millimeter ring terminal. So just something to be aware of. Now we can go ahead and hook that up to our positive on our battery along with the rest of our system. So I'll take that terminal screw out. I've got my system positive here and obviously that ring terminal as well. And I'm going to connect these up. I'm gonna put it on top just cause that should keep it together a bit better and go ahead and screw that on. You may have noticed on the smart shunt there. As soon as we've touched that positive terminal, we've had power come onto the smart shunt and that light has come on there. So we've now got this little blue LED here on our smart shunt indicating that it's on and Bluetooth is available. There is another LED next to it, that's the error LED. If that's flashing, you've probably got a problem, but it should, when you first connect it, to power, just have that blue one come on. So that's it. That is the Victron Energy Smart Shunt 500 amp all connected up and ready for pairing with your device. If you're interested in any of this gear, I'll stick affiliate links for it down in the description. But otherwise, if you found this helpful, just make sure you click that thumbs up button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this from me. Bye for now.